because they are playing a game while we are trying to fix our lives, they're winning the game. They're winning the game. We're all losing at life when they're in charge, but they're winning the game. The silver bullet to the system is the left realizing that the grievances the right had on January 6th are the same grievances they have. The division is fake. The root cause, fake money, fake power. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That is what we're talking about. I always said no self-respecting uh, right-winger cares about what Lindsey Graham thinks. <laughs> well, I'm, I mean, right-winger is different than than cultural conservative. Remember we talk about the There's a lot of right-wingers who care about what Lindsey Graham thinks because they're on his payroll. I don't think there's a lot of conservative voters who give a fuck what Lindsey Graham thinks. But, yeah. And uh, yeah, the fact that Jack would even say that shows you how big of a joke he actually is. It's, it, but, you know, our next president, guys, our next president. <laughs> so I'm incredibly consistent on that. Now, why do I think there was an actual coup attempt? Because the coup is not the right. It's not like they were going to take the capital and keep it. And then we were all going to be like, oh, I guess the right wing has it now. Once, once you're in the building, you have the power. That's right. I guess win! the Oath Keepers are now this is the Secretary <laughs> of State. The, and the Proud guy. Boy guys, the, sec the, the Treasury Secretary. Uh, and, and you know, banking off what uh, uh, CT was saying earlier that, you know, admitting that not all J6ers are guilty is big for him. I'm also saying that he understands that he, the, the people who went there didn't actually think that they were taking over the government in that moment by by occupying the building. Because I've heard that a lot as well. That they, they, they're so stupid. They generally thought they would just get in there. Then they're the government now. No. No, 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 no. But... Here's he was here was their role that they didn't know they were playing. So guys like Nav uh, Peter Navarro wrote a book about it. Steve Bannon brags about it all the time. Eastman, Cheeseboro, all those guys who are charged now in Atlanta wrote memos about it. One of the memos was called the fraudulent elector memo. And so the plan was we get a bunch of fake and Sidney Powell accidentally admitted all the way back in November on Lou Dobbs show. The plan is you get a bunch of now they wouldn't say fake electors. They would say Trump electors, but they're not even technically the Trump electors because a, you have a slate of electors for both candidates, right? Mm -hmm. But the slate of electors for Trump would not go along with the coup attempt. So they had to find new random Republicans in the swing states. And they even did it in New Mexico, which was not even close, right? And, and, and these were the fake electors. And so the plan was delay the proceedings so that they cannot certify the vote. Plan A was have Pence say, I'm not certifying the vote. Right. That was the plan. And not to have uh, Pence say, okay, because uh, remember, we we read the actual letter that came from uh, uh, from Pence's office and where he made it seem like Trump wanted him to give the election to Trump as opposed to simply not certify. That was in the letter from Mike Pence's office that I don't have the power to do that. So it'd be silly. To... And I spent, cause that was from, that was from uh, uh, February. And so I was speculating that by the time that letter came, came out, it seemed very clear that, that all the goodwill that uh, Trump had gotten was, uh, 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 you know, at least petering and at least at an all time low. And so Pence saw, oh, okay, I'm going to throw Trump under the bus and act like Trump was telling me to do something unconstitutional when really, Trump was just saying, don't certify the votes, which is not unconstitutional. Um, Rabbi Glickman said the real coup happened after uh, uh, January 6th with the military occupation of uh, D.C. that fo followed afterwards. Yeah, was that uh, 529? Is that what, uh, uh, when, when, no, that was before that. Yeah, so it started before that. Don't, don't forget, don't forget that Antifa firebombed a church that uh, uh was it the church or they firebombed something where trump was at and trump had to be rushed to the 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 bunker so never forget 529 but pence wouldn't do the unconstitutional thing and he should deserves enormous credit for that and he nearly got <laughs> murdered for that okay i mean that is a republican that had significant courage and i don't think he's ever really gotten the credit he deserves for that because he didn't do what you're saying that's not what happened he lied to make himself, himself seal, feel better, seem better, look better, you know, as politicians do, as I'm sure it would roll right off your tongue to say, oh, a, pol a Republican politician? Of course he lied. Of course. 
no, no, no. But when it's convenient to you, oh, Mike Pence, he's he's so amazing. He's so, yeah, it, it wasn't true. Yeah, the, like 529 was worse than J6. Bite me. Now you could disagree with Pence on everything else, and I do, right? But I give him credit where credit is due. So he was supposed to delay the proceedings. He refuses to do it. Trump is in a rage. Instead, they get the guys to bum rush the building so that it delays the proceedings. The Peacefully and patriotically. The next part of that plan was, then the Republicans are supposed to go in and go, well, I can't tell who won. We had, there's no certification. We're going to bring it back to the states. And then at, the, at that point, the swing states had Republican legislatures. And so the Republicans in the legislatures were supposed to go, we now install the fake electors, okay? I don't know about that part, but all the rest that you're talking about is just politics, bud. But And that's a coup attempt, knowing that you lost the goddamn election. It's, it's actually simpler than that. They don't need to go to the state legislatures. It would be the House delegations. No, which... that's the last part of the steps. When the state legislatures say that Trump won when they know he didn't win. By the way, more credit to Republicans in a second. When they say he didn't win, uh, he, they say he won when he didn't. It then goes back to the House because then it becomes an open question, a political right. question that the House has to decide. And the House, even though there was more Democrats at the time, they vote by state. And the Republicans right. had more states. Yes. So it was actually, if you're going to do a coup, it is a logical coup plan. It ro and, they, and they discussed other coup plans. Michael Flynn proposed rolling out the tanks and doing martial law. They had a three-hour conversation about it. Now, let me give credit to uh, courageous Republicans. This is amazing. The level, again, the level of just mental gymnastics to, to uh, this, I, I believe that this is Cenk genuinely trying to find common ground and say, okay, here's something that I think the Republicans did that was good. But the thing that you're saying that they did was good, one, didn't happen, and two, you only like it because it was something that helped your game win points. How does, how does, how, how do you get here? How do you get here? And how do I avoid ever, ever, ever being like this man? Even Trump administration guys who I despise, everyone, the reason Trump didn't roll out the tanks is because everyone in his administration that was in the room said, we will all resign immediately if you roll out tanks against the American people. Okay. So, so credit to those Trump administration people. And then the state legislatures filled with what I think are radical right wingers. Yep, exactly. So it seems to me like he's assuming what people know and what they don't and using that to make his argument. That's just the, the, the number one, that's what projection is. Number two, that's the leftist uh, 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 playbook is to not engage in these things, make up the other side, a, a, a straw man of the other side so that you can easily defeat it. That's the whole game. And because they are playing a game while we are trying to fix our lives, they're winning the game. They're winning the game. We're all losing at life when they're in charge, but they're winning the game. Thoughts are definitely more twisted than a pretzel. <laughs> CT says, uh, uh, so if Trump wishes to call the National Guard for D.C., is it also a coup attempt? He asked for the Guard, and uh, D.C. government said no. Good question. Good question. Most, the great majority of them said, no, we're not going to do the fake electors. And they deserve a lot of credit for that. Are you familiar with uh, Texas v. Pennsylvania? The, the, it was the original jurisdiction lawsuit between Texas and Pennsylvania arguing that several states violated the Constitution <laughs> by altering the rules of the election, not at the legislative level, but through the judiciary and the executive branches. Mm -hmm. And so Texas's argument was, if Pennsylvania is acting in violation of the Constitution, it's subverting our vote in this process, and mm -hmm. we want the Supreme Court to to rule on this. Okay, and how, how did it turn out for them? The Supreme Court refused to even hear the case. Yeah. So this is this is a problem. This is what actually uh, ignites fervor and and gets it expands the the conflict. Uh, oh, shout, oh, oh, where you go? Shout out to Trump Whoppers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the party. Uh, said that fake electors plot happened. Super easy to look up. Uh, very surprised you never heard of it. Well, I, I never heard of it either. Well, maybe I don't know that I never heard of it. I just I don't know that I've heard of it framed in the way that Jake is talking about it. So it, 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 I would assume that if uh, again, if somebody has a, a link somewhere that uh, one of the the uh, the mods could drop, I'll, I'll pull it up. But it, it seems like what he is describing is probably something that we know in a different context. 
just just speculating based on the fact that I don't know that uh, uh, you know this this fake elect fake elector plot thing. So I don't know. Uh, Thomas and Alito agreed that when a state has a dispute with another state, uh, uh, as per the Constitution, it, original jurisdiction means they must hear it. But the other justices just said, no, we won't. And so mm -hmm. what ends up happening is the, the case expanded to include, I think, 48 states with like 24 versus 24 or whatever. Or it was like 23, 25. When OK, OK. Now we're getting some info. So I'm on season nine says they're uh, uh, the, the al alternate electors that I definitely remember hearing about. They are not fake electors inside uh, inside of the ages. Uh, they're not fake electors. They're alter alternate electors. For instance, if Trump would have won a fraud case, these electors would have replaced the other fraudulent electors, electors based on votes. It's a lie, and uh, it's a lie framing it this way. That's why we never heard of it. Makes a lot more sense. And uh, CT said, yeah, look it up. I remember seeing the headlines. I just never saw an actual investigation into it. Sus where half the states were saying, you know, we've got five or six states that have altered the rules of the election, but the Constitution explicitly states the legislation must uh, uh, handle how the elections are handled. So if a governor in, in, in a change of the rules or a judiciary rules on it, it's not gone to the legislature yet. The legislative branch must then like they have to vote on it. So, Tim, you know, they, they can bring that suit. There's no problem with that. They were suit. all thrown out. They knew. Okay, so hold but on, my, hold my point is this. My so point is this. If you've got people who are saying. How come the rules were changed in Pennsylvania? The lower court agreed that it violated the state constitution, but the higher court said we, we're going to do it anyway. We, we but it's not a scheme if it's if, if the 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 intentions are pure, right? It's only a scheme if it's a conspiracy. And there's no reason to think that somebody like Donald Trump wouldn't think to the end of the earth that he won any election. We believe is acceptable. So then you have people across the country saying, whoa, 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 hold on. If we're all agreeing to vote in this process and this, this state's even disputing amongst themselves, we need this adjudicated. And they said, no. Then what, what do you get? The language of the unheard. Yeah. So, Tim, there's exactly. two different things here. So let's separate them out because it's really important. There's did Trump actually win? That case was litigated over 60 times and he presented <laughs> his him and his side allies presented zero evidence. How many of those cases were dismissed on standing versus merit? A bunch of them, but a, oh, a, 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 a bunch of them. Who here thinks that Jenk actually knows what number of those were thrown out without even being heard? I'm kind of feeling that face. A huge number of them decided it on the merits. That's not true. Oh, come on, Tim. Come on, it. Tim. And then in all the pull it up. I don't understand why they don't do this. I don't understand why they don't do this. Like, pu pull it up. You guys have computers right there. Pull it up. You, you know where this information is from. It should take two seconds. Just pull it up. The ones that they that uh, decided on the merits. How come the, uh, the Trump side never presented any evidence? I, I guess it depends on the specific cases, right? No, so, it doesn't depend. They well, have no, no if evidence. We're, if, if we're talking. In, in one case, Rudy Giuliani had to admit because he's a lawyer, he's going to get disbarred if he lies in court. You could lie at a press conference 24-7, right. but once you're inside court. And they said, Mr. Giuliani, do you have any evidence to show that the election was stolen? And he's like, no. Because but, they don't have any evidence. But They're I, lying. But They've I, been lying the whole time. I agree the election was not stolen. Okay. Uh, or it depends on how you define stolen, I guess, right? No, that you could define it stolen in a thousand but, ways but, that are BS. But some no, people, it was not stolen. Period. Some people argue that. Well, if you want to talk about the mail-in uh, uh, votes, then we absolutely can make that argument. Now, fine if you don't accept it, but absolutely that argument can be made. <laughs> Rabbi said left-wing grifting is super <laughs> easy. Yep. A shout out to Soulless Death and Despair over on Twitch. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the party. Said I'd love to vote for Trump at 24, but he's already won twice. Ah, good one, good one, good one. Love it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the party. Uh, Guantek, uh said he sounded like Matt Walsh talking about trans and kids. <laughs> Had no idea about the numbers. Yeah, that was a big hit. That was a big hit for Matt Walsh like you you can't make those kind of mistakes and it's it's reasonable to, to to think that when you're in the weeds but that's precisely why that's precisely why you can't you have to know the numbers if you're going to throw out number if you're going to say I don't know that's one thing but oh it's got to be millions by now and then it's like uh 5,000 like okay that doesn't change the fact that this is really bad but you, you shouldn't have given the 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 rope to to 
yourself with. Shout out to MK in the building. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the party. So they never allowed evidence to be shown on in any in investigations. There were some, but for the most part, yeah, these they were just dismissed on uh, uh, standing, not on merit. That Pennsylvania changing its voting laws in violation of the Constitution is stealing an election. No, that's a nonsense argument. Uh, so okay, argument. so no, it's no, 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 no. It's super important. It's super important, guys. It's super important because I don't want the right wing thinking that it was like, oh, fraudulent election and Hugo Chavez or the ghost of Hugo Chavez and a Kraken and a mule went in and changed the votes. Yep, nope, that's um, not what most of us think, I, I don't think. No one changed the votes. Okay, agreed. Period. And so because Trump and Fox News and Newsmax lie about it 24 goddamn seven and, and <clears throat> Fox News had to pay $800 million for their lies, People think that they're like, uh, how much did MSNBC pay? How much did CNN pay? Are we all, we're all on the same page that mainstream media is bullshit. Why, why are like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. The majority of the cases were tossed due to standing, not merit. Uh, so yeah, I think, uh, the Trump supporters were there, were urged to go inside by undercover, by undercover left. And once, uh, they didn't know what to do because they were not there to, uh, to insurrect. Is that the word? to to uh, insurrect anything it was set up hashtag ray epps election was stolen when it wasn't you know what election was stolen and then i'll tell you the that the reaction that happened instead when it happened to the left wing 2000 brazenly oh, really stolen from al gore so let me explain the details and then i'll relate it back to today nobody okay really so al gore not only won the popular vote and nobody disputes <sighs> that but it after the case was over and the election was over uh, uh, all the news organizations uh, went in and did a recount of the entire state of Florida. Well, that's not cheating. That's not cheating. That's not stealing. That's, you know, it's just, hey, we know. We know. And this is why I keep bringing this up about the, 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 the line of cons conspiracy. Where do you draw the line of conspiracy? And uh, uh, again, just simplifying it to the Trump camp and the Biden camp, obviously it is much more complex than that, but for purposes of conversation, if you're in the Biden camp, then you believe the things that the uh, uh, the people tell you. If you're in the Trump camp, you know, you know that you at least have to question everything that is being told to you. There seems to be on the left this idea that left-wing media is good and right-wing media just is bad. That's only because you already agree with it. It's not based on the 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 merit of what it actually is. And so by going with just what you agree with, as as a uh, 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 rabbi said, it makes left wing grouping super super easy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that clip, check out the full live stream link in the bio and catch me live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, eight p.m. Eastern. See you there.